Hello strangers, welcome to Albert Reads the Hits. I am Albert Strange, and this is The Secrets Behind the Number Ones. Got a great song for you today. It's the fourth number one song from 1960, from the 1960s. And uh, before I reveal, I do want to take a quick second to ask you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, trying to grow the channel, uh, anything you can do to help, very, very, very much appreciated. Uh, when you do subscribe, hit, uh, or rather go to the, uh, the comment section and leave me a message saying, I just subscribed, or you have a new subscriber, something like that, and I will reply to you. Again, I've had some very good back and forth with, uh, with people who have done it, and I, I, I enjoy nothing more than conversing with, uh, with new subscribers. So, the fourth number one song of 1960 is none other than Theme from a Summer Place by Percy Faith. This song was number one for nine weeks. It was, it was the record holder at the time uh, for, for the longest at number one. It was number one from February 22nd until April 25th. And it's a complete instrumental song. So I have no lyrics to read for this one. Um, there were subsequent versions of it with lyrics written, but this version by Percy Faith is, uh, is, a, is an instrumental version. It's like two and a half minutes long. I do recommend you check it out. Um, you have heard this song before. This song is in so many movies, on so many TV shows. I, I, I have a few written down here that we'll get to. So, like I said, Nine Weeks at Number One was a, a record at the time um, for the Hot 100. Uh, there, were, there was an Elvis song that had been number one for longer in 1956, I believe it was. I don't remember which song. Um, but in 1956, the Hot 100 was not called the Hot 100 yet. It didn't become the Hot 100 until 1958. So, in 1960, when this song hit number one, it was the, uh, the longest uh, tenure, longest consecutive number one song at that, up to that, at that point. Uh, it was later tied by Hey Jude. I'm sure you know that song. So, th this song was number one for as long as Hey Jude was. Um, I don't. I, I didn't find out which song eventually surpassed it, um, but I know that uh, a number of songs have definitely hit ten weeks or more. Um, this song, though, is still the longest-running instrumental song at number one. Um, no other uh, instrumental song that has hit number one uh, since 1960 has been number one for uh, for nine weeks. Uh, I, <laughs> Nine weeks is a good run. That's a very good, that's over two months. That's that's a good job. So, um, the song itself. Let let's get to it. It was written. Uh, the music was written by Max Steiner. Probably have never heard of him. Very prolific uh, Hollywood uh, songwriter, instrumental, um, also lyric songs as well. Uh, he was nominated for twenty four Academy Awards in his life, and he won three. Um, he s wrote the scores for over 300 movies. <laughs> 300 <laughs> movies, that's, that's all. If you did that for 50 years, you'd have to write six scores a year for 50 years to get 300 movies. And, you know, the, guy, the, guy was, the, guy, the guy had was hearing music in his head. Uh, he wrote the... Uh, he wrote the scores for movies like Gone with the Wind and Casablanca. So he's got, he's got some big, big credits to his name. Um, oddly enough, those two movies didn't win him his Academy Awards. I, I had never heard of the movies that he won the Academy Awards for. But it's not important. Um, the song itself, the, the song is called Theme from a Summer Place, and it's from a movie called a Summer Place. It was not, however, the main title theme of the movie. It was, it was kind of a secondary song for, for um, like a love scene between two characters. Uh, not, not, it, this is 1959, so it was nothing too intense. Um, but um, but that's, uh, that's what movie it was from. And in fact, this is the Percy Faith version that hit number one. Percy Faith's version was not the version on the soundtrack. The version on the soundtrack was... Uh, by Hugo Winterhalter. I, I didn't look anything up on him. I probably should have. But in any event, Percy Faith's version, which was recorded after the movie, um, um, was number one for, for nine weeks. And it's been covered and re-recorded so many times, um, some with lyrics, some without. Um, I do have the lyrics here. 
Um, but uh, but I'm not going to read them for this because this version did not have any words. It was a purely instrumental version. So a couple of other uh, a couple of other things about the song. Um, Percy Faith's version did win the Grammy for Record of the Year, so good for him on that. And um, I, I, I had um, mentioned uh, movies and TV shows. I, I, I listed a few. Um, this song was in Animal House. It was in Con Air. It was in Batman. That's the uh, the Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson version. Um, it was in Batman. It was when uh, it was with the Joker and Vicky Vale. I don't remember the exact scene. I think it might have been in the museum. But um, but it was in Batman. Um, it was in Ocean's Eleven, the uh, the George Clooney version. Um, it's been in several TV shows, uh, including, but not limited to, The Sopranos and Mad Men. And probably the most famous TV appearance it had is on The Simpsons in uh, Homer's Barbershop Quartet, if you remember the B-Sharps, when they were, uh, when they kicked Chief Wiggum out of the, out of the, uh, out of the group, uh, they held tryouts for, uh, for new members. And uh, Jasper, the uh, the old man, Grandpa Simpsons. I wouldn't say they're friends, but they're they're often on it together. But he did pull a gun on Grandpa Simpson at least once um, when Grandpa tried to steal his, his uh, dentures. Um, but Jasper's up on the stage and he's singing the song, just theme to a summer place. But again, there's 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 no lyrics. Um, let me see. It's the the song itself goes. That's the best I can whistle it. But there's no lyrics for me to read, so I gotta, I, I gotta convey it to you somehow. Um, but I'm gonna put a link to the, uh, to the Jasper thing if I, if I can find one. Uh, it's, it's really funny. Um, he, he doesn't end up joining the B sharps. They do end up finding Barney on the, uh, on the floor of a bar or bathroom, and, and he joins them with a Pooh and uh, Homer, of course, and uh, Brindle Skinner. Um, but in any event, that's, uh, that's neither, neither here nor there. Um, but again, the song was number one for nine weeks. Say what you will about instrumentals, nine weeks is nine weeks. That's, that's not a fluke. Um, I, I, I don't think I will ever have a number, a number one song. Especially not one that's done number one for nine weeks. But you never know, maybe I'll write something and, and, and who knows what happens, right? I, don't, I can't see the future. But anyways, so this was uh, the fourth number one song from the 1960s. Uh, that's all. That's all I have for you today, strangers. I do appreciate you tuning in on this uh, weird um, election day, day after election day. Um, we'll see how things turn out. Um, I do want to ask you again to you know, like, share, subscribe, do all the things I'm always saying. You can find me on social media: uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I've been putting up lots of Snapchats and uh, Instagram stories recently. Um, so that's a, that's a, that's an easy way to follow me very regularly. Um, and as always do tip your service, tip your bartenders, tip your ride share drivers and your delivery drivers. Uh, they appreciate it very much. You're going to leave 10 bucks on 10 bucks on 50, make it 12. You're going to give your delivery driver $3, make it five simple things like that. Those things add up for those, for, for the people in the service industry and they appreciate it. It really makes a big difference. Um, I, uh, I appreciate you doing it on my behalf. So until next time, strangers, back to 1970, or rather forward to 1970 on the next, uh, on the next video. I really couldn't think of a, a good teaser for this one, but it's, uh, it's, it's very funky. That, that, that's what I'll say. Very funky. So until next time, strangers, I will be seeing you.